Statistics show that approximately 50% of all calls on any given person's phone are robocalls. State and federal officials have recognized this issue and are working to put a stop to those annoying calls. Sierra Hignite joins us now with the story. Sierra. Thanks, Mike. I know that just on my phone alone, I have more than 30 blocked numbers from robocalls, and I know I'm not alone. Representative Jeff Ellington's House bill would add restrictions to the do not call statute and would increase penalties for those who break the law. Probably get a couple a month. I would definitely get it somewhere between the beginning of the month and like towards the middle and end. It just varies, but I definitely get it twice a month. Robocalls. No one is safe from getting call after call after call. We get more complaints about unwanted calls than any other subject in our office. The calls are becoming such a nuisance that legislators are having to step in to try to block the issue. Well, they're already against the law, and apparently that doesn't dissuade uh, scammers and telemarketers from using robocalls to try and contact people. Already, the do not call law prevents any type of telemarketer or sales call within a certain scope from calling you. And another law prohibits a call with a pre recorded message, which most of the time are also illegal. A lot of the calls people are getting now are scams, and so they don't worry about the do not call list. Katie Simon's robocalls tend to sound the same, and she recognizes the scam, even though it doesn't always look the same. Normally, people calling and saying, oh, we have your credit card number, but I don't even have a credit card, so I know that it's not important to me. Sometimes it's the same area code. Um, sometimes it's not, so I never know. As for Nick Anderson, he has just stopped answering the calls altogether. I would get the same call from different numbers about the IRS uh, needing to collect some kind of money from me, so I I don't even answer it anymore. Now, the FTC is after companies that are committing these kinds of scams, and the FCC is developing rules for phone carriers to eliminate spoofing and to address other aspects that make it pretty easy for these types of calls to be made. Mike. Mm, all right. Thank you, Sierra. Current technology makes it easier for these scammers to spoof numbers, making it difficult for authorities to track. However, the Attorney General's office still recommends that you put your number on the do not call list. You can find a link on our website, My Wabash Valley. Dot com. That's where you can also file a complaint about any robocalls you receive.